Hi, Jesse Farsheimer with Go Dog Baseball out here with the Go Dog Baseball crew. Uh, today we're going to do a product review on agility ladders. Agility ladders are great, handy things to have for any any coach really, but for practice or a parent at home, you can set this up instead of having to put lines on the ground somewhere. It gives them a good, clear, defined uh, place to do their footwork. They're really good footwork. A lot of people think for baseball, you don't need to be fast. You don't need to be, you know a lot of standing around, but uh, you actually have to have very good, solid footwork to get to the ball a lot of times while you're fielding. Can I borrow your glove, Charlie? Okay, so. We're not even going to be fielding a ball, but I want you to run through. Each time you step, I want one foot inside the agility ladder. The other foot is going to be outside the agility ladder. Whichever foot is out, I want you fielding with that hand, with that side, right? So if it's my glove hand, I'm going to field on this leg. If it's this leg, it's going to be backhand, right? So we're going to come through. We're going to go. Okay. Nice, nice. If you feel like you can go faster, go faster. But don't get sloppy. It's not a hop, Ev. Run, run more, right? Think about how your foot works in a game. You're not going to hop. All Beautiful. That's just one drill you can do with an agility ladder. Agility ladder is a handy little thing. You can pick them up anywhere from, you know, $15 up to $30. Uh, there's name brands. There's, there's other kinds. But it's just uh, a way to get them to have a, a grid on the ground that you can pick up and move around easily. Uh, here's another little drill you can do with the agility ladder. Come by your glove again, Charlie. So for the first time, if you have to, go slow, right? In baseball, when we approach a ball, though, we generally get our feet a little bit closer. We do what's called a stutter step. So land here and then open and properly fielding, right? You're going to step back into both. <laughs> move to the next one and just do fast feet. Get ready again. Stutter step. Down. Come back through. Fast feet. Stutter step. Break down. Boom. Fast feet. Stutter step. Break down, right? Okay, let's see. There you go. Yeah, pick those feet up. Pick those feet up, right? Yeah, pick those feet up. Yeah, nice, Adam. Pick those feet up. And lay yourself clear all the way past the agility ladder to go approach the ball for the next one. Yeah. Hey, don't be lazy. Get Bend all the way down. Feel that ball, right? Here's your chance to practice getting all the way down. So those are just a few of the drills you can use an agility ladder for. For baseball, there's also a lot of fast feet drills. I'll Charlie show you a few of those in a second. Um, the agility ladder, though, it, it can be a really handy tool. Uh, if you can get the stakes and try to stake them down so it doesn't wobble around as much, you, uh, it'll force the kids to pick their feet up, though, if you don't have them, because the agility ladder will move quite a bit. But uh, in general, in general, you want to have these out. Uh, I would say do agility work maybe twice a week, but. We'll have some other drills on our on the Go Dog site, Go Dog Baseball site that you can check out with the agility ladder. But uh, the other thing is, you want to remember that this is really a fast foot training drill for the most part. So I'm gonna have Charlie work these guys. So you guys throw your gloves down. Those are just a few more things you can do with an agility ladder. Clearly, you can see these guys, they're all breathing hard. You can hear them. Um, again, for baseball especially, a lot of times people think there's not a whole lot of running going on. Let's get them out there and do some agility work then as well. Thanks for checking out Go Dog Baseball. 